At the University of Georgia, Ann Mandich is pursuing her doctorate in agricultural and applied economics. Her two primary areas of research are not what you'd expect. So overall, I consider myself an applied health economist. Specifically, I'm studying vaccine safety and people's perceptions of vaccines, as well as the nursing labor supply. So in the next 20 years, half of the nurses in the U.S. are set to reach the traditional retirement age. So my research is looking at why this phenomenon has happened. Looking at wages over time, we can see if we're creating the correct incentives for people to enter nursing, i.e. if you pay them, they will come. To get answers, Anne collaborated with many different departments across campus. That interdisciplinary approach also helped her create relevant questions involving vaccines. I am finding that people aren't vaccinating their kids because of their erroneous views on the link between autism and vaccines. Right now I'm using Twitter data, so I'm looking at people that have a large following on Twitter. When they make a statement about vaccine safety, we can watch how that spreads throughout the U.S. and throughout their networks. And sharpen both her creative problem solving and analytical skills in UGA's doctoral program. One of the best skills that I've taken away from this program is my quantitative training. In economics, I've essentially learned this toolbox of both statistics and econometric skills that I can now apply to any research question that I so desire. Will Thompson turned his doctoral sights to a place far away, Nepal. Beautiful scenery, incredibly rich culturally. There are artistic and architectural treasures everywhere you turn. They're so common, people hang their clothes on them. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. Will performed field work across an ethnically diverse landscape. He developed surveys on tablets, which teams use to collect baseline data. The goal was to determine if a popular program giving goats to Nepali women would elevate them out of poverty. And this style of program is really, really popular. It's emulated all over the world. They're really popular with donors, but there's not a lot of evidence, quantitative evidence, that they work really well. So we're trying to do a few things. We're trying to establish that this kind of program works and if it does work, we want to understand what aspects of it affect which outcome. So you're looking for duplicates of the right. respondent number in the same household. What Caitlin was concerned about was household. Will appreciated the open door policy of a strong and internationally respected faculty. His major professor helped him quickly secure the right research opportunity. In some places, you might have to wait a little bit longer to get your hands dirty with research. So for me, the, uh, the biggest thing was having the opportunity to do real work on real research very early in my experience. Ting Ma came from China to pursue her doctorate at UGA. She says coming to Athens, Georgia was one of the best decisions of her life. When I think about UGA, the first thing is arch in my mind. And when I look at the pictures, I always feel there is a moment I won't cry. <laughs> we all like a family and we help each other. And if here you can feel we can do everything. Ting's doctoral work focused on the West African nation of Ghana. They have very fast economic growth, so we want to look at their food consumption patterns. There may be some international, like food chain, they can come there. Ting's research could also be used by international aid agencies. We have a very good opportunity to submit our paper's idea to conference domestic and international. With her doctorate in hand, Ting landed a job at the University of Pennsylvania studying energy efficiency in buildings. 
but a part of her heart will always be South at the University of Georgia. I think the experiences studied in UGA and especially in agriculture and applied economics, our department, is the lifetime treasure for me. I will keep it forever.